While I'm happy for the Martin family that an arrest has actually been made, I find myself wondering about the rest of the country. What has this accomplished? I feel like we've actually taken steps back. We've, we've engaged in, in a verbal race war over a matter that should have come down to, to simple justice. And whether people want to blame guys like Reverend Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson or even Geraldo Rivera or Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly for fanning the, the, the flames on this particular issue, it really doesn't matter. So many of us took part in criminalizing Trayvon Martin, criminalizing George Zimmerman, criminalizing black men, talking about black on black crime as if the majority of crimes in this country aren't committed by, by white men, particularly violent crimes. And everybody was just going around in circles. Going forward, I know for myself, in terms of taking responsibility for my part in this, I find myself more committed to, to being engaged in dialogue and talking to people, seeking to understand before I seek to be understood. And my hope is that, as President Obama said, we'll do some soul searching and really look at where we go from here. Because quite honestly, there's no reason to believe that George Zimmerman will be convicted. And so what happens then if, if he gets off? So there's no reason to be happy. There's no reason to, to smile at this particular point. At the end of the day, the Martin family is still going home to an, an empty room in their house. At the end of the day, the Zimmerman family, I'm sure, is, is, is going to be broken forever as well for this action. So families are suffering across the board. We need to take a step back and see what we can do to really build understanding in this country and really start tearing people, stop tearing people apart because this verbal race war has, has really done the country no good unless we take it as a teachable moment and really try to move forward as a country as this case continues.